Here in Venezuela, the harp is their national instrument and the heart and soul of their rhythmic dance, Joropo. Carnavali, a leading expert on Venezuelan music, about the joropo. Yeah, I suppose the most important thing about joropo is that it has a harp. The okay. harp is the most important instrument in it. Harp, which never plays alone. At least it has to play with the maracas. But it also usually plays with a cuatro, which is a small uh, four-string guitar. And then it can also play with a mandolin and with a bandola, which is a kind of lute, uh, plucked string instrument. So you have the maracas, which are come from the indigenous people. You have the Baroque musical structure of the Spaniards and you have the polyrhythms of the Africans. And that combination is quite explosive. It has a, a, dy a dynamism and a, and a kind of joy which is very contagious. Yeah. Can I just have a little fiddle around? Can I tocar un poquito? Thank you. No, I don't know, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> it has only one row of strings, but is almost as difficult to play as a triple harp. And just to confuse me further, the colour coding on the strings is different too. Usually the red string is a C and the black an F, but they obviously have a different system here. I've come to Barquisimeto, the musical capital of Venezuela, to meet Carlos Orozco, the foremost harpist in the country. His experimental approach pushes the frontiers of the joropo and the harp to its limits, but he has some rather unusual influences. Mi mi influencia me a mí me decían cuando comencé a tocar el arpa llanera, yo no estudiaba, yo estudié varios arpistas así venezolanos, pero estudié más los de este, que no tenían nada que ver con el arpa como Steve Wonder, este, la música de Michael Jackson, de Billy Joe, yeah. de Billy Joe, Elton John, o sea, personas que no tenían nada. Everything. Sí. So many decían things. que estaba crazy, loco. El joropo es una esencia del llanero, o sea que cuando se toca un joropo es tramado, es como un be el becerrero, o sea algo que se, se habla de las mangas, de coleo, joropo es el llano entero, o sea, y bueno, joropo es todo va a ser rítmica, agresivo, rápido, chico, 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 todo lo que es rápido, sí. como una cabalgata, chico, 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 chico. This is Los Llanos, home of the Llaneros, the Venezuelan cowboys. It's a tough life here, with these vast open plains completely flooded for six months of the year. The Llaneros spend all day in the saddle, 
and when they return to the ranch at the end of the day, the way they unwind is not what I would have expected at all. These are cowboys. These are people who deal with cattle and animals all the time. There are vast horizons where they ride and uh, they connect with nature in many ways. And they sing to all that. They sing yeah. to the cattle. Right. Uh, there is a famous saying by Simon Diaz who says, you cannot lace 50 heads of cattle with a rope, you can with a song. Although the Spanish cross-strung harp and the triple harp had extended the musical possibilities of the instrument, neither had fully answered the needs of European composers. During the 18th century, there were many attempts at developing a mechanical device to make it easier to change keys. The earliest attempts were in Bavaria, but the most significant developments were in France. très grande tradition d'harpe en France. Euh, cette tradition s'est perdue pendant assez longtemps jusqu'à ce que la reine Marie-Antoinette, qui venait d'Autriche, euh, amène dans ses bagages une harpe et commence à la jouer à la cour de France. Et euh, évidemment, je veux dire, comme toujours, quand euh, euh, le roi ou la reine aime quelque chose, tout le monde suit. Donc euh, l'aristocratie française, euh, les jeunes femmes de l'aristocratie ont commencé à jouer beaucoup de, de cet instrument. Après que Marie-Antoinette ait aidé au développement de la harpe, il y a un luthier français qui s'appelait Sébastien Hérard, qui s'est pris de passion pour l'instrument et qui a cherché à développer la technique instrumentale, la facture de l'instrument. Sebastian Erard's remarkable invention, 